Welcome back to Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy and this is the moment I was waiting for when I made this investment and I'm very excited to go over Scorpio tankers today. So if you guys have been following me, this was literally my second video. I call this my first video because the first one doesn't really count. Whereas this one titled best investment of 2020 Scorpio tankers, ticker symbol STNG. And so in these two videos, I go over exactly why I'm so bullish on tankers, specifically product tankers and specifically Scorpio tankers. I go over all the fundamentals of why I believe this is about to be a major bull run for shipping. And at the prices that we were trading at, STNG was an easy 3x on your investment. And like I say, I like to make picks before big names start to enter. And today we got one of the biggest names out there that entered STNG. That's right now we're on Twitter and I wanna shout out Brandon Balo for putting this up because this was major news that came out. Michael Burry, the guy who shorted the housing market back in the day, the guy from the big short, this dude is major money. Whatever this guy does, you should probably follow because this guy is a smart, smart man. And so the biggest thing that I wanted to cover here is he bought Scorpio tankers, ticker symbol STNG. So if we click on this, you can see the first purchase right here worth three points five million dollars remember this is only 0.25 of his portfolio but nonetheless he did buy 3.5 million dollars worth of scorpio tankers side note just remember he has put options for tesla which is 40 percent of his portfolio and so that's damn near half a billion dollars that he has in tesla puts and so be careful if you're in tesla but this video is all about scorpio tankers and stng and so everything is lining up absolutely perfect we have michael burry the man the myth the legend himself hopping into scorpio tankers when everybody thought that scorpio tankers is going to be a bust and so this purchase from michael burry happened the last couple months and so if you remember that video i made was a long time ago prices were trading at 11 12 dollars stng is over 21 dollars right now so if you guys are familiar with my channel i like to make lower key stock picks stock picks that most people aren't really talking about go over them because if everybody is talking about the same stock chances are our smart money has already made their money and the people who are talking about it now are going to be holding the bag and so when I talked about STNG nobody wanted to have anything to do with tankers but that is exactly why I talked about it we got to get in before people actually know about it and now look at what's happening the man himself Michael Burry opened a position here in STNG very recently with all that being said we have to go over to the stock chart to see exactly how STNG reacted today on such bullish news we were up three points 0.25% trading just shy of $21 and so here we are looking at STNG and we are at a very nice point right here so you can see we are in a clear pattern since the bottom right here in October after these lows of around eight dollars we have been on a steady uptrend in which i did anticipate us reaching this level right here but i do believe that we will catch some resistance at this level the reason why i believe we're going to catch some resistance at this level is because this line of resistance tracks back to the beginning of stng's run here and so we have never really been able to break this downtrend and so right now here we are we are trying to make our way testing resistance and if we can break past this multi-year downtrend stng would officially be broken out and that is exactly where i expect the money to be made so you guys know we were buyers here in the eight dollar range we ran it all the way up here and now the second part of this trade is where the fomo and where the hype starts to build and i believe that will happen after this point right now so we see michael burry coming in so that's one big figure that a lot of people are going to look at say if he's in this maybe i should be looking into stng and if we look at his other position his 40 percent in tesla puts you got also Understand that the tech market is going to go down and that market rotation is going to help shipping and so if I look at the stock chart right now for STNG it gets me pretty excited because you guys know I love plays that have been in a long-term downtrend 
And at that point, when it breaks resistance, it usually goes parabolic after this point. So I'm very excited to see how we do here. You can see we actually had very nice reactions on our 50 SMA. And so this was extremely bullish. Our RSI right now is at a 64. So we still have some room to the upside. And so I do expect STNG to get to this point. We should see some resistance, but if we break and back test this level right here, STNG will be on its second leg up. And so this little bit that we saw was its first leg. This part after would be its second leg. And I believe in the long term, we can see STNG as high as 53 plus. And that is obviously a longer term outlook as stuff starts to favor STNG, as they start to make more money on their routes due to the premiums on their vessels and their scrubbers, they're going to be a leader in this space. And they already have the biggest fleet, the youngest fleet and eco fleet. They are ready to take over and in the shipping industry itself, company specific news is favorable right now price of steel is going up so their competitors may want to scrap their old ships to take their profits if you take the supply off the market that makes each ship more valuable and so stng is not going anywhere it's not scrapping any of its ships but its competitors may do so and if its competitors do so that is going to be more business in the hands of stng and so i'm liking the future outlook for stng and so the thesis has not changed at all on stng over the time honestly the conviction has got even stronger for myself about STNG this is a play that is going to yield a lot of money for a lot of people remember this stock pays a dividend and in the shipping industry when a company pays a dividend when the market is hot they tend to pay dividends very sporadically and so this company has kept a consistent 10 cents dividend for each quarter for a very long time and when the tanker rates start to go up I would not be surprised to see crazy crazy dividend yields of maybe a dollar plus per quarter and so when i made the stock pick stng was going down but tech was flying and nobody wanted to look at stng people thought dummy boy you're a dummy boy why are you investing into stng this stock is trash well there's a lot of things to factor when you make a stock pick and one thing i like to look at is capital gains if you don't plan on holding a stock for a year then okay you should be prepared to deal with some capital gains but my strategy for the bare minimum is hold a stock for a year so you meet the requirements and you can get a lower bracket. And so with STNG, it's just been steadily growing. We haven't really seen that major jump, that major drop. Whereas a lot of these tech plays, they went up so fast that a lot of the capital gains that you guys are going to have to deal with are going to be extraordinary because of the short term gains. And so with STNG, it's been a steady, steady holder. It's been holding up very nicely while well, everything sells off as TNG behind the scenes is just chugging along and we love to see it. If you guys did end up getting a test TNG, congratulations, because I know holding the stock was not easy. It was not easy at all because everything else was going up. And I swear this was the only stock that was going down, but the roles have changed now where all the tech investors are hurting and STNG is prospering. And so I expect this run to continue, but the one fear and the reason why this resistance might be a little stronger than a lot of people anticipate is if I go here to our tanker rates, this is off of NAT.BM right here. If we look at the weekly report of May 14th tanker data, so we're mainly focusing on LR2s, LR1s, and MRs because those are our clean carriers for our product tankers. You can see the rates are still not really too high. MRs had a crazy crazy surge this week but in general if we look at our 2020 year to date we are a lot lower here in 2021 so our rates are still relatively low seasonally they are a lot lower during this time as well and so for investors in stng just be aware rates are still relatively low so the run that we are going to see will probably come back down after and the last thing i want to mention on this chart is our beautiful golden cross right here you can see our 50 sma this green line crossed over both our 100 and 200 day SMA and when you get this right here that is extremely bullish this is indicative of a longer term bull run and so everything right now is looking extremely juicy you can see we got our price action on our 50 our 50 held as very nice support and so this is confirmation right here on STNG and this and this is also where Michael Burry bought some shares and so you can see on the weekly time frame right here we have just been in a downtrend for a decade and if we get a break past this level 
this is going to surge but also keep in mind that this is going to be a very strong level of resistance and we do need to see the rates starting to spike up if we want to sustain run but because the rates are low i do suspect that we will have a run up but we will also drop just as fast because the rates aren't as high as we should want them overall stng should be on your watch list you should be watching this stock because if this breaks this point right here there's going to be another run in stng that i believe can go as high as this 53 dollar level of resistance and over the years potentially even higher than that point and so if you guys enjoyed this quick update here on stng don't forget to like we are on the road to 10k subs so if you made it to this point feel free to hit that subscription button this is dummy boy finance i'm dummy boy and i'll see you guys in the next one